Revolution Scheduler tool has several handy automation features that help customers create and manage their bell schedules more efficiently. Templates help users build out their typical day schedules. The scheduling wizard is used to quickly set up repeating schedules, such as an entire semester, quarter, or school year. Users can also select individual days to copy, paste, delete, or add templates to an individual day. This allows users to easily set up deviations in your schedule. In this video, we will use a high school's bell schedule as our example. The high school has four types of day schedules. The standard day schedule is the AB day, and the three alternate schedules are the flex days, early release days, and assembly days. The three alternate schedules occur at random times throughout the year. To begin our setup, we will create day templates for each of the schedule scenarios by navigating to Scheduler from the main menu and selecting Templates. Next, select the New Day Template button. On this page, you'll give your template a name, assign it to a site, and then set up the times you want the bells to ring throughout the day. Once you're finished, select Save. Repeat this process for your alternate schedules. Once the templates are created, we'll use the scheduling wizard to create the typical AB schedule for the year. Use the drop-down menu to add your schedule to an existing calendar, select the start and end dates for the year, and choose the template you want to use for each day. When you're finished, select the Apply button and the scheduling wizard will automatically create the scheduled events on your calendar. Now that we have created the typical schedule, we will navigate to the calendars page to create pause ranges for breaks in the schedule. To add a new pause range, select the Edit button next to the appropriate calendar and click the Add Pause Range button. Give the pause range a description, select the start and end date, and then click Save. The pause dates are denoted with a pause symbol shown on your calendar. You can use the Show Hide Pause Event button to have the paused events hidden on your calendar. Finally, we can set up the individual days that don't repeat on a set pattern, such as assembly and early release days. Right-click on the day you want to change and delete the current schedule. Then apply the day template you want to use by either dragging a template to that day or right-clicking and selecting Apply Template. Once you have finished adding all special days and pause ranges, you are ready to create a notification to use with your scheduled events. 